Okay, let's continue with Ignite Talks. So we have four speakers. If you're not familiar with the Ignite format, let me talk a little bit about it. So we have, uh, Ignite Talks are five minute talks, and the talks have 20 slides, and they are changing automatically every 15 seconds. So simply the presentations talk about something specific, and hopefully you will enjoy them. So um, our first speaker, Gök Çerdan, my colleague from Obscini, uh, will be making an Ignite talk on making the most of your post-incident analysis. Hi everyone, my name is Gökçe and I'm a product manager at Obscini and today I'll talk about the post-incident analysis reports which you commonly known as post-mortem reports. So post-incident analysis is a process in which you analyze the incident when it's resolved and uh, then compose a document with all the related data to basically document the uh, incident, understand all the root causes as well as the timeline and action of events. So here you see an example uh, post-incident analysis report that we have from an incident uh, previously this year. So we, having no major outages before, this was the most impactful incident that we had and it helped us a lot. And uh, if you work with large-scale, complex, distributed systems, uh, you must embrace the idea that the uh, incidents are inevitable and our response teams, you know, as well as trying to fix the issues, uh, they should work on uh, analyzing and learning from these incidents. So the you know, primary goals are, as far as I said, you know, con uh, understanding the root causes, trying to find what could have gone better and what could we do better, basically. And it's also a great basis to future, refer future reference the incidents. And you, know, you can use this uh, for, you know, for your new incidents. And it's also a gold mine for pattern discovery where you can say, you know, if there's a recurring incident, I can use it uh, to review my inf infrastructure or you know, uh, my uh, response process is you know, slowing down my resolution time. So it's a perfect opportunity to learn. And uh, there are a couple of things to pay attention to. First of all, the naming is important. So you know, uh, we usually use post-mortem, but you know, let's be honest, nobody died. It's good to be positive and you know, uh, to have an in-depth and honest evaluation. And we need to make sure that we're not blaming any individuals. Uh, and blaming individuals will create a, a culture of fear and distrust. And it, it would let the individuals hide the facts. So we should not focus on you know, who's doing what, but how we, how we can change the process. So we should start working on the post-incident analysis as fast as we can after the incident is resolved. And it's important to let the teams know when a post-incident analysis is necessary. So you can say that it's mandatory for your high priority incidents and optional for lower priorities. Then gather the data related to your incident uh, response process and the incident data that you have from your monitoring tools. And in Obstini, you know, uh, we are a modern incident management platform, and we're also using our tool internally for incidents. So we're gathering the data from our incidents associated alerts and you know the our own hosted video bridge data as well as our bi reports and then you know once you gather these data start you know processing your timeline incident timeline it's a good opportunity to basically show your chronological order of milestones in your incident and uh, then you know start describing the details of the incident including the impact root cause you know what happened etc you can customize this section depending on your needs, but make sure that you have all the details necessary. And uh, as discussed with your related teams, you write down the preventive action items you know, that should be done to uh, reduce the likelihood or impact of the uh, recurring incidents, basically. So uh, it's important to notice this one, and we are capturing issues in JIRA to uh, prioritize action items and communicate with the teams. And once we're done writing the report, then you know, review the, this with your teams, 
make sure that if everybody's on the same page and once it's done, you know, publish it. And then, you know, the important part is tracking and making sure that the issues you prioritize with the action items are being done in a, you know, given time frame by the teams. And for the rest of the issues that are non-root cause related, you can just, you know, put them in letter sprints. And make sure that the post-incident analysis report is available to all of your stakeholders. So you can put it in a common directory for your internal stakeholders like business management or support customer success that can give info to, info to customers or external stakeholders like your customers or partners. You can consider publishing it in a public status page by you know, preparing a public version. So thanks for listening. Thank you, Gökçe.